Well, we, the three of us run a brewery and we all three do different jobs. I handle uh, most of the accounting, bookkeeping, that kind of finances, that kind of stuff. I do marketing, human resources, communications, and all the other jobs that are left over. And I'm the master brewer, which is obviously the most important part of the company. Because without me, there is no product, so. Yeah, because if it was just you, it would be big barrels of beer just set out on the road for people. Yeah. It would still be delicious. Mom, come on, let's go! What are you doing? Here to pick up mom. Are you dressed as George Washington? Very astute. Okay, I'm dressed as George Washington. I'm promoting the beer at the reenactment. You knew that. I look like George Washington. I'm a big, broad, strapping man. They were little guys back then. Have you ever been to the museum and seen George Washington's hat? It's like that big. Everybody was dinky little people back then. Uh, mom owns the company. Mm -hmm. uh, we just run it because she's, you know, she's in her, her twilight. She's oddly, I, and I don't know if you guys even know this, she told me recently that I'm the one who has to pull the plug if it ever goes that far. Why you? I don't know, because I'm the eldest. She made me CEO, and she said that I should pull the plug. So I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm going to do it the first second that it should be done, because I do not want her suffering at all. All right. All right. Everybody ready? Yeah. Mom, are you going to put on your seatbelt? I've been driving 40 years without my seatbelt. Well, you know, I mean, it's... I th why don't you put... You know what? Put it on, man. Yeah. You know, why not? All right, what's going on here? I mean, you know, all of a sudden you're all very friendly, inviting me out for 39 flavors. It's 31, Mom. Thank you, little miss. I just didn't want you to get excited about eight extra flavors. We just thought uh, 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 an observation ride would be... You all want to see how I drive? Huh? huh? Yeah, I think that would be... All right, all right. You put the purse here, because that's right in your... Oh. I'm going to get rum raisin. That's a great flavor. Like shut it. up. Everybody just keep the flap trap shut. I'm not wearing this right now. Bloody thing. I think you look what, what happened? Mom. Oh, no, I didn't hit anything. Oh, my God. Everybody's doing it. Hey, how many times have I tell you this? Okay, so I, I guess I'm just curious, like, because these don't have any... Oh, no, no, I've, I've got my own system for all of this. Oh, but the an Arabic is... system? I'm just saying, maybe you could adopt some of our ways so we could, everyone can understand the numbers. First of all, she's not Arabic. She's from Iran. I'm not an Arab. That's an Arab country. It's I'm... not an Arab country. Iran is in the Middle East. It's not... And I'm English, so what, th there's no point. I'm from England. What I do is marketing for the, for the brewery, and, and, and I, I basically make the sales happen. And she does an awesome, awesome job at it. Aww. I mean, seriously. This family, you know, would be screwed without her. Yes. And I think most of them know that. Yes. I mean, there's a few exceptions. There's one exception. Do you understand that? I was born in London. I was raised in England, and I've been here for 12 years. Yeah, well, you don't look like the Depeche Mode. Yeah, we're really close. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, these are, you know, my best friends. We, we work together. When, you, when a family works together, you really know each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, mom, yeah. brace yourselves. M mom uh, was in another accident. I just got the call from the police were involved. Who hit her this time? She uh, hit another car. She hit two cars, clipped the second car, and took out the front of a store. What kind of store? I don't know. It was a... Well, that's important. Why? Were there valuables inside that were damaged? Because yeah. we'll be liable for those. You go right to the insurance question. Do you want to know if mom's okay? Well, I would imagine because you would have led with that. Mom's dead. And then we wouldn't be here talking about this. We'd be planning her funeral. Who knows what the king will lead with, though, these days? In his position of power, maybe he wants mom to go. Well, I know everybody in this family is yakking it up about the year I had. But, you know, what's the big deal around that? Everybody has a tough year. It's not getting rid of me, I'll tell you that. Can I just say that I think maybe mom is okay and they we're making a big deal out of nothing? You're not perfect either. No, I've, I, but I haven't and had... neither are you. Okay. 
You know what? If we talk about my womb one more time, what? I'm gonna not want to have a conversation with you guys ever again. Nobody okay? said anything about your womb. He said I, I'm not perfect, and I get that. Okay, no, that there is a hole. It's not working. It's not ticking. But I don't think it's my fault. FYI, talk to Ty about it's not working, Dick. Okay. We want a family, <clears throat> and we're trying to make it happen. And we need to use a little bit of science, and that involves shots that are just kind of messing with her chemistry a little bit, and just makes her a little bit. Yeah. you know, more high strung sometimes, so. Look, I'm sorry. I mean, obviously, it's a really stressful time for yeah, you. Yeah, it's a really stressful time, okay? I've got my emotions all over the place. I don't know if I'm a man or a woman. I'm taking so much steroids, okay? I'm trying to cook a goddamn baby in here. It needs to be a calm place. But I'm having to go on my Excel spreadsheet and see how much money we have left. And now if I have to worry about mom killing someone when I'm trying to bring someone into the world, I cannot 